ahead. Bill, we believe it's going to be Belgium that the U.S. will play. Of course, Belgium does play later today. That's Group H. What is the plan against Belgium, and how much is the U.S. going to miss Josie Altador if he cannot play in that game? Well, Josie's great because he can hold the ball. You can kick it at him. He can play with his back to the goal. He's really great at that. So, and, it's, and today, and in the last two games, in fact, we really missed that kind of aptitude. Um, Belgium is the team that is, is sort of like the insider's pick as, as you know, they could do it because they're, they're such a talented team. A lot of players are playing in the Premiership, for instance. So it's, it's going to be a difficult task. It's sort of, you know, it, you could say they're a, a bit similar to Germany in the, in, the, in the talent level, so it's going to be a very, very difficult game. Maurice, give us a little scouting report on Belgium. If we indeed are playing them and it all holds, how do you think the U.S. will fare against them? What should the game plan be? Yeah, I mean, exactly what he said there. Belgium has a they have a deep squad, a deep squad of talented players who play for top clubs around the world. But I think the U.S. will go into that game fearless. You know, you look at the teams that they've played so far. They've played against Germany, similar. Played against Portugal, another team that has a lot of talented players and, and players who play at top clubs around the world. And you played, they played against a Ghana team who, um, you know, had kind of been the Achilles heel for the U.S. So, like I said, they get out of this group. First and foremost, that gives them confidence. They know they can compete against the best teams in the world. They played friendly to prepare themselves for these kind of moments uh, leading up to the World Cup. And now it's just another chance to go out there and open eyes once again, show that they're able to compete against the best teams in the world and the best players in the world. Um, I think it's what's going to be important, though, is that they continue to, to defend collectively, You know, whether it's uh, Michael Bradley and the center midfielders, Kyle Beckerman, Jermaine Jones, really setting the tone early in the game and making sure that they're staying organized and disciplined there and letting the rest of the, everything else take, take its course. You know, I think they're going to definitely create chances. Um, you know, Belgium is a strong side, but I think we will get chances, and it's just about making the most out of them when they do come. Maurice, take us through, from the players' perspective, what the next few days will be like. If the U.S. plays Belgium, it would be on July 1st, so that means four full days of rest. What are the players going through now? Oh, it depends. And I think they might get a day off to see their families and things like that. So that's always good. Um, you need that support system behind you. So it's always good to see your families and wives, girlfriends and things like that. And then you have a time, a little bit of time to recover. But then after that, it's back to just focusing on the game, you know, getting mentally in tune with what's ahead of you. I don't think the trainings will be too intense because it's important that you're feeling 100 percent and you're feeling confident going into the games, you know, you'll go through the, through the course in terms of um, lighter, lighter base trains with an emphasis on tactics and what your strategy is going into that game. And it's just about making, that, making sure you're mentally prepared. I'm sure that some of the guys will watch some of their games that are going on and just taking an interest in the whole event that is the World Cup. And then when it's game time, everyone will be prepared by then. You know, you know what's at stake. You've worked four years to get to this point and you look at it like nothing's going to stop you from reaching what your ultimate goal is. Hit me. Hey there, SI fans. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern time only on SI.com. All right, go along. You ready? Hope to see you there.